Hi, I'm Jerry Brown from Music Makers, and I'm going to tell you about some interesting creative projects that we've been working on lately. Uh, a little while ago I made some instruments out of some scrap wood that were kind of freeform, and I called them ukas, O-O-K-A, just for lack of anything better to name them. And I put several strings on them. They, they had 10 or 15 strings and put them in the catalog. And the response was immediate. People were uh, calling from all over the country wanting to buy these unusual, one-of-a-kind instruments. So we have been thinking about uh, some fun things to do with this idea. And everybody on staff here has now built a, uh, a their own invention of a uh, an uka or uh, they'll call them other names uh, but anyway their own creative idea for an instrument made out of scrap wood and so uh, we're going to feature one of these instruments per month and uh, make a video so that you can see and hear what they uh, sound like, and I'm going to have various people uh, demonstrate them for you. So I hope you enjoy. This is Debbie Hi. from Music Makers, and she's going to show us her new invention, a one-of-a-kind from uh, our Uka festival here. And Debbie, what do you call it? A Harolina. Harolina. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? Well. I guess it was a, a fantasy series, and in there there was a stringed instrument that only the hares could play. So I figured that this might be something that they would have played, and it's big enough to stick a paw through. <laughs> and when you stick your paw through, uh, <laughs> you can hold it? You can hold it, and you can hop along wherever you go and take it with you. <laughs> and it looks like a basket. There you go. Suppose you can carry a tune in? I'm sure that a tune could be carried well in there. Well, that's <laughs> neat. So what'd you make it out of? It's made out of scraps of cherry and the top is a, a laminated spruce. Okay. Um, great. <laughs> and these you say were scraps? Yes. Well, that'd be pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are cuttings, uh, f leftovers from doing some curved instruments that we make, right. like, say, the reverie harp or something. Bits and pieces, yep. yeah. That's very cool. And so, now I'm looking at these strings, and it's pretty wild. Some of them go this way, and some of them go that way. What's happening here? Well, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to do something like this. Uh, we have C and we have a G7. Ah, and we have two chords. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's neat. So it's kind of like breathe in and breathe, breathe out. out. Yes. Now, I I think you could play songs with those chords. Oh, I'm sure. If you had just two chords, we have a book here of 30 songs, common, popular songs that you can play with just those same two chords, C and G7. So, for example, um, we could do uh, Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine, thou art lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Very neat. I like it. Mm -hmm. This is one of a kind. There is, there is no other Harolina. Mm -hmm. No other Harolina. That in we existence know. that we know. <laughs> One that looks like that anyways. Yeah, and we're not going into production either. No. No, because this scraps are never the same. They are never the same. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you, Debbie. You're welcome.